Hey guys, it's so sunny, so I thought I'd film outside, but the sun's directly in my face, so we'll see how this is gonna go. And it turns out I'm sitting under a flight path. Today, I'm doing a video to support Fashion Revolution Day, which is happening on April 24th. On this day, back in 2013, the Rana Plaza building collapsed in Bangladesh, killing more than 1,100 people and around 2,500 people were injured. It was a really, really devastating thing that happened. And the five garment factories inside the building were all making clothing for the Western market. So Fashion Revolution Day is about highlighting the bad practices that still go on in the fashion industry and about encouraging people to try and buy better or find alternatives. There are so many other awesome ways to buy better. Choose brands that use ethical practices or maybe organic materials, or you could choose a vintage item. You could buy a really well-made classic piece that you know you're gonna wear for like 20 years. Or you could try looking for recycled materials. So for example, this top is made from recycled plastic water bottles. It's crazy, right? Those waste items have been turned into something that I'm going to treasure for a really long time and actually really enjoy wearing. So Fashion Revolution are encouraging everyone to do a alternative video instead of your regular haul video. So we're forgetting fast fashion, we're forgetting any pollutive or unethical practices, guys. Put those aside, because today it's all about buying better. If you want to buy secondhand, there are some great options out there, including charity shops or online. But my favourite is going to consignment stores, and my personal favourite is one called Dizzy M in Parsons Green in London. Consignment stores are also really great for finding some amazing pieces that you might not necessarily be able to afford normally. Also, the average British woman apparently hoards £285 worth of clothing in her wardrobe that she will never wear. Isn't that crazy? But that is where a shop like Dizzy M comes in because it means you can resell the items that you're perhaps a little bit no longer in love with or you maybe made a mistake and as long as you've kept them in good condition then you can bring them in and try and resell them. So I've had a little rummage through the store and I'm going to talk you through my alternatives. Let me show you what I chose. I try to buy items that suit my style and that I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of. So I thought what better place to start? Gosh, it's getting really loud out here. <laughs> We've got sirens. We've got aeroplanes. Wow, it's all going off. It's London, innit? I um, found these acne jeans in a dark navy with a sort of orangey stitching. So apparently the average pair of jeans guzzles up 200 gallons of water per pair. So by buying secondhand, you're not draining any more of the Earth's precious resources. And actually with jeans, I keep reading more and more that just stop washing them. Stop washing them as much as possible. So if you can go a month without, as that will not only save water, but it'll make them look really cool, win-win. Acne are a Swedish brand, I think, and they just do a really lovely cut. I don't know a huge amount about the brand, I just know that I really like the items that I see. Um, but it would be interesting to ask them, Acne, who made your clothes? What does it say? Made in Albania. So I might have to do a bit of research on Acne and find out what their practices are like. So I actually honestly don't know a huge amount, but I think those are really cool. And I think they're the sort of thing that you could wear easily during the day, during the evening in bed, maybe not in bed. Now, I'm a big fan of a white top. I love white t-shirts, white shirts, white jumper things. So I went for a white top to go with the jeans. This one's by Victoria Beckham. I really like the boxy shape of it. I think it just looks quite effortlessly casual. It's odd, because I'm quite a clumsy person, but I seem to really like wearing white. I also think it's something you could wear during the evening, during the day. Now, I honestly believe a good pair of shoes can make such a difference. Um, whenever I bought cheap shoes back in my teenage years, I would find that they firstly hurt my feet and secondly, wouldn't last very long. So I chose these Yves Saint Laurent uh, T-bar heels. They're so cool to go with the jeans and the top. I just think that they are classic, but a little bit quirky and a bit different as well. They've hardly been worn at all. And I think they would go with a lot of things. Oh, there's a bee. Now I love shopping secondhand and I also love ethical fashion and I love it even more when the two combine. Uh, so I've managed to find this top by Chinti and Parker. Chinti and Parker, for anyone who doesn't know, is a really awesome British ethical clothing range 
but they don't necessarily rave about it. It's just something that you can read about if you go to their website. They use mostly organic cotton and uh, really lovely cashmere for their jumpers. They are a really lovely brand. They do some really cool, cool prints. Anyway, I've gone for a really basic, really classic cotton top and it even says there conscious cloth. This is something that again, I think I would wear on a really regular basis, either for just lounging around the house or as a really casual top for summer days or I could layer it. There are just so many options with a top like this. I don't know about you, but I love a pair of shorts. I really do. I live in shorts in the summer. Live in, ooh, <laughs> that's the fashion police. <laughs> so I was delighted to find this pair of Marge shorts and it says made in France. I'm intrigued to know if Marge has got any sort of ethical practices, especially if it says made in France, that bodes well. Those I think will go really nicely with just a t-shirt um, or I can lounge around the house in them. I do a lot of lounging, I'll be honest. That's what they look like from behind and they've got little pockets there. I've got a few weddings to go to this year and I thought, well, it'd be great to have an occasion dress. Or, you know, you just have those events where you think, oh, it'd be nice to dress up a little and actually look like I've made an effort. So no shorts. I chose this dress because I thought it would be really useful if I have any weddings or um, events to go to. I think it's something that would cover a lot of occasions. It says it's made by Pizza Pilotto and that's a brand I don't know. But interestingly, the label inside says it's made in England. Um, which I thought was really good. I just think it's a really cool and something quite different that not many other people would be wearing as well. So I think that's certainly an item to treasure. <laughs> the sun's really going in my face. I'm gonna bend down here. Um, so I chose these shoes to go with that dress. They're by Rupert Sanderson, again, in really good condition. And they're quite different. I think you could definitely wear them with jeans, with trousers, dresses, skirts, etc. And my final item is totally appropriate right now. It's actually a pair of sunglasses. I'm gonna pop them on. I can see you. These are by Stella McCartney, an ethical designer. Brilliant. I just think they look really nice and I'll totally wear them throughout the summer. You can't go wrong with a good pair of sunglasses. Oh, it feels so glamorous. And move around a bit. How's that? That's better. If you do decide to do a bit of shopping, why not try shopping secondhand? It's a great way of saving on the Earth's resources and it's a great way of breathing new life into items that were potentially heading for the landfill. And why not try selling those £285 worth of unworn items in your wardrobe? It's a statistic. It's out there. Remember to ask brands who made my clothes on April 24th because they're not telling us and we need to know. Wait for that plane to go. Whose great idea was it to film outside? <laughs>